It's really exciting. Nutrition is going to be 100 this next year. And so we have a very long history of exceptional students, exceptional alumni, and a fantastic program. When you first come in as a freshman, you kind of have a choice to choose either between nutrition science or nutrition. My process was pretty interesting. I knew I wanted to do a nutrition program. When it came down to it, I just decided to look at the courses. When I looked at SU, I saw that it was a lot more science-based courses. In nutrition science, we had the opportunity to foster our learning beyond just nutrition and learn about life sciences in physiology and chemistry and biology. We have a nice strong science core that is applied and so we really are proud of that, that it is not just lectures and tests. We teach a lifestyles approach to nutrition counseling and now that we have the ACE Center, they can practice with the client and it makes it really very nice for the students to gain confidence in these skills that they can be an excellent practitioner. The question is, how important is it for students in the nutrition programs to have some hands-on learning experiences with food? I would say that it's critical. A person who is trying to provide nutrition counseling and does not understand what goes into preparing healthy meals is not going to be able to effectively help their patients in a prevention situation or in a therapy situation. You're in the Susan R. Clank Learning Cafe and Kitchens, brand new facilities. Not very many college campuses that aren't a culinary program have this to offer. It's really important for students to apply what they're learning in class to just gain real world experience. I think that the ACE Center can have our students go from the classroom what they're learning and now apply it and make new findings that can be used for further teachings as well. And the students can actually be part of that rather than just learn about it. I think it's also really important for students to uh, get out of the university bubble and see what the greater community looks like. We have two volunteer clubs, uh, NEPA, Nutrition Education and Promotion Association, and Orange Wrap. And then we have, through the Center of Public and Community Service, nutrition-specific opportunities. I am a nutrition volunteer coordinator at the Shaw Center, so I act as a liaison between nutrition students and the greater Syracuse community. So they're learning in the classroom and then they're applying their nutrition knowledge, they're learning how to work with that population and how to pull that all together. So during my undergraduate in Falk College, I was part of the Renee Crown Honors Program. In that program, I completed an honors thesis for Dr. Tanya Harachek and for Dr. Margaret Voss in the nutrition department. Syracuse University is actually an R1 research university and not many colleges get that title. Going into a doctorate program, I'll be required to be full-time research at the graduate level and having the experiences as an undergrad through Falk College and the nutrition department has helped engage my skills. I'm not only collecting research, but also engaging with other people. That way you can take the knowledge you're learning, but you're taking a step beyond what everyone else is doing. But we also have three study abroad opportunities that are nutrition related. We have Mediterranean Food and Culture, that's my class, where we study on campus, and then we take students for two weeks, and it's a farm to table experience. Dr. Raj just started a new South Asia healthcare food systems class, so she took the first group this year to India for two weeks. And Dr. Wilkins is starting a policy class in London. During spring semester of my junior year, we talked about the Mediterranean diet in different countries. And then after we finished, we went to Italy for two weeks in June. And it was pretty amazing because we got to see all these things that we learned about firsthand. Our students do amazing things. When you look at their resume as they're applying for dietetic internships and all that they've accomplished, it's really very impressive what they do in their four years here and then what they do once they graduate and they go on in the field. The best part about my classes truly are the faculty. The professors are incredible and always willing to help you no matter what. We know our students by name and there's an awful lot of caring. For the scope of this university, this department makes it a priority to know their students. And, and that doesn't happen all over. So I think that makes this very special. We help students to get the most out of their time here. SU is big, but we are a nice, tight-knit little family in nutrition. And so students find their place, and they find that they can do whatever they want to do.